Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? It is Felix from NYNews.com yet again. Hola, como estas? Let's talk about last night's game. I see a lot of Yankees analysts saying that uh, the moves made last night were brilliant, making a whole bunch of excuses. Oh, J.D. Martinez's home run would have been a flyout in this stadium, in that stadium. Oh, Tyler Austin gave that ball a ride versus uh, Joe Kelly. Did you see yesterday's game? The Yankees came back and had that game won. There was no reason that the Yankees shouldn't have won that game, okay? And we all saw in the first inning when Didi Gregorius did not throw home. That really messed up the Yankees' momentum because we all know once Mookie Betts gets going, the Red Sox get going. Once that happened, the momentum instantly shifted to the Red Sox. But, hey, he's Didi Gregorius. We all love him, right? I I like Didi Gregorius, but in that instance, he should have thrown home, okay? Maybe he thought the Yankees were going to come back, which they did. We saw that. The rain delay that lasted an hour was a reset for the New York Yankees. That was the best thing that could happen for the New York Yankees in that game. Leaving the bases loaded, Tyler Austin swinging at so many balls. He could have walked in another run if he wasn't impatient. So after that, I'm pretty, I'm just surprised Tyler Austin was left in that game after that uh, disastrous at-bat. If you know me, I'm a Tyler Austin guy. I actually like Tyler Austin, but he's been horrible. I have no idea why he started this game. Other people are saying because he's good versus left-handed pitchers, but really, are you looking at his uh, numbers? He's 0 for whatever. After Walker's game on Wednesday, you would have expected him to start that game on Thursday. So a lot of question marks, like I said in my previous video, and then a lot of people making excuses for the Yankees. The Yankees should have won that game. You don't become a winner by making excuses for your team. You become a winner by critiquing your team. You become a winner by critiquing your team by saying, oh, that game that you should have won should have been won. Not by saying, oh, that home run J.D. Martinez hit, that would have been a fly out in Boston. Don't worry about it. Oh, just leave Batantis in after that home run. Look, he just struck out the next three batters, really. After that home run, he should have been taking out that game. Sure, he got the next three batters out, but really leaving him in there to potentially just open the floodgates, not a wise decision. So you're using Batantis for two innings to give other pitchers a rest, but what's going to happen to Batantis after he pitched those two innings? Oh, it's just going to become a recycling thing where, oh, this pitcher can't be used because you used them for two innings. But yeah, you can hear in my voice that I am pissed because people, I'm going to be honest with you. Like I said, the Yankees had all that momentum to win that game. This game could decide if the Yankees get on a losing streak because it's one of those games where it could throw you off. You could see the Yankees go on a a losing streak. They could lose the next two games or whatever, or one game. Whatever. It's a big difference between how they were doing versus on how they might do in the future. Because we all know the Yankees were unstoppable. And they showed us that they are still unstoppable. Coming back and tying that game. So yeah, all the sympathizers saying, oh, we'll get them next time. Don't worry about it. It's just one game. No, these games count. These games count and this game counted for the simple fact that the Yankees were on a streak, for the simple fact that they kept winning, you could have seen them win and not lose until they reached 30 games. So when you have games like this that you should have won, we all saw it. All the momentum shifted to the Yankees. When you have games like this that you lose, it's a big game changer for how your team is going to play in the future. It's a momentum decreaser, not an increaser. So all the sympathizers out there trying to make excuses, saying that home run could have been in and out in another stadium. Oh, leaving Batances in was the right move because he got the next three batters out. Really? Really? After that home run, he should have been out. And honestly, it's not even Batances' fault. Eh? He's not supposed to be pitching two innings in the first place. What's up with these relievers that are supposed to be closers pitching two innings? So then you could recycle and do the same thing to another pitcher and say, oh, we can't use Batances because he just pitched two innings. See that? See why we couldn't use other pitchers? Because they did the same thing they did with Batances. 
So, yeah, Yankees fans, if you want to see the Yankees be the best team in baseball, you can't make excuses for the Yankees. When they do something bad, when they're not playing to their full potential, you got to critique them. You can't make excuses and say, oh, it's all right. No, the Yankees are winners. If you want them to continue to win, you point out what they did bad. And maybe, I know for a fact that they will change it, but you can't have sympathizers out there making excuses for lousy calls that the Yankees made. That starting lineup was a lousy lineup to make. Sure, Torres is great, but he's a utility, maybe a super utility player, but he's not supposed to be starting in a game versus the Boston Red Sox. I can see why they started Tyler Olsen at first, okay? Supposedly he's good versus left-handers, okay? But really, honestly, I can't understand why Torres started that game. It threw the Yankees off. Their offense was off. Okay? He was overpowered. But wait a minute. Walker made an appearance and suddenly, pow, bam, the Yankees offense clicked. Because they were already used to that offense. Okay? So quit with the excuses. The Yankees lost a game that they should have won. They should have swept the Red Sox. The Red Sox were pathetic in my opinion. They barely hit the ball. They barely got runners in if the Yankees didn't help them, if you paid attention to that game. In my opinion, Yankees fans as a whole should be critiquing that game because it should be the last time we see moves like that being made, especially versus a team that has the second best record in Major League Baseball. Do not take your enemy for granted. Do not take these teams for granted. Completely bury them. Quit helping them win. Stop giving them opportunities to actually win a ball game. Starting Torres at third. Tyler Austin having a really horrible at bat. Not once, but twice. Two rally killers. Stop giving these teams ways to come back and have a chance to beat you. That's all I'm saying. So, Yankees fans, like always, it has been Felix from NYNews.com. Let's see what the Yankees do versus the A's. Hopefully, they sweep them. Hopefully, they bounce back. But like I said, a game like this with the Red Sox yesterday can be a momentum killer. So, like always, share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.